Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited because Madam Glam sent me over some of their polishes from their new uh, Valentine's Day or February collection and it's called Amore Tints and these here are the polishes that they sent. Um, these look like they're going to be some really fun gorgeous colors for Valentine's Day so let's take a closer look. As you all can see, this collection includes a variety of pinks and whites and such. Um, I think it also has some reds in it too, but they sent me five of their polishes. So let's take a look, let's take a closer look and then let's get to swatching. So yeah, it looks like they went back to their old packaging. The last collection was um, Confetti Dreams and it was the Korean formula. So I'm curious to know if they're gonna, if Korean formula is just special um, collections that they do or if they're planning on switching over to that overall. But um, yeah, they're back to the original packaging. That's what it looks like. This color here is called Loyal. And I'm also noticing too that at the bottom they're starting to put the lot number um, on there. So that's really cool. I'm sure that lets them know when the manufacture date was. Let's take a look. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a really creamy, soft white color. Looks like it looks like it has like slightly pink undertones to it as well. That's really nice. I've not seen a white with pink undertones to it, so that's really pretty. Next color we have here is Love's Veil. Oh yeah. This is a really nice pretty pink. It's a light pink that has slightly mauvey purpley undertones to it. Glazed Amor. Ooh, look at this. This is a really gorgeous pink. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love all the fine glitters in it. Kind of looks like mini diamonds in the polish. Love that. Heart Glow. Ooh, nice. So this is like a slightly deeper pink, almost red color. Um, and it's a glitter. Really beautiful. I like how these glitters are finely packed, tightly packed in there. Really nice. Last but not least, we have Love Struck. Ooh, that's really pretty. So this is a really fun, festive, hollow purple glitter. All right, all right. So let's get to swatching, you guys. Loyal. Ooh, look at that. It's nice and it's super opaque. Yeah, I love the fact that it has like this really slight pinkish undertone to it. I'm not sure if it's picking up here on camera, but I really like that a lot. And yeah, this color is, is really gorgeous. I love it a lot. And as you all can see, one coat coverage, even application, loves veil. Very nice. This is a really beautiful pink with slightly mauvey purple undertones. I love this. Coverage is beautiful. Application is beautiful. Y'all know Madame Glam polishes never disappoint. Super easy to work with. Look at that. Glaze de Mor. Oh wow, look at that. I love this. This is a really beautiful pink glitter. I just love how tightly packed all these glitters are in here. I mean, this is really one coat coverage with the glitter. I love this so much. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. Heart Glow. Ooh, this is just as pretty as the last one. A little bit deeper, slightly red glitter here. Really nice. Look at that. So beautiful. Go ahead and care. Love Struck. Oh, nice. This is, uh, I just think fun when I see this glitter. It's a nice, fun purple glitter that has a lot of hollow in it. Very nice. Very nice. Alrighty, so this is what all the colors are looking like swatched out. This is a really, really beautiful collection. Um, I'm going to get you guys up closest of each color. The first color we have here is Loyal, and I'm really impressed with this color because, again, I don't know if you all can see on camera, but um, this color does have an ever so slight pink tint to it, and I really love that about this color. Love's Veil, which is this really beautiful pink, soft pink color, kind of mauvey purpley undertones. This absolutely gorgeous glazed Amore pink glitter. You guys, I love how packedly tight these glitters are in here, and it just... It looks like mini diamonds on the nail. I really love it. Heart Glow is very similar to Glazed Amore, but it is more of a deeper pink, kind of reddish color. Really, really pretty. And last but not least is Love Struck, which just, just makes me think of like a party time. I don't know why this makes me think of just fun and party, but it's a really pretty purple um, glitter with some really nice hollow flakes to it. So yeah, you guys, this collection is absolutely stunning. I am going to try to do a quick Valentine's Day look with these polishes, so uh, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and hop into a quick nail look um, I am going to do some uh, coffin shaped nails here 
and I actually I'm getting ready to do a set for one of my clients slash friends and um, this is the design that she wants me to do for her so I'm essentially going to recreate this design right and this is going to be me practicing the design before I do her actual set so what I'm going to do for the nude nail bed oh well, it's really just two fingers where there's a nude nail bed and that's the index finger and the pinky I'm sorry the index finger and the thumb so I'm going to go in with um, the Madam Glam XOXO and Purity. Um, I got this hack from another friend where you put down a milky white color and then you put down uh, whatever nude base color you want. And that kind of gives it a little bit more opacity without having to use so much of the base color. So I'm going to go in on these two nails and apply Purity. And then two, or maybe one or two coats of XOXO. And then the two middle fingers are going to be clear. So then on the pinky, I'm just going to go in with the glitter. Um, and that's going to be the glitter in the color um, Glazed More. And that's just going to be a full on glitter nail. Ooh, that's so pretty. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cure. Alrighty, so then I'm going to go in now on top of that milky white. I'm going to go in with XOXO. I'm gonna do two coats of that. Go ahead and cure. This is what the nails are looking like so far. So next, I'm gonna go in and do some French tips on these two nails, and I'm gonna use the and I'm gonna use the other glitter from um, the Tinted Amour collection, and it's called Heart Glow. <laughs> And I'm gonna do that on the index finger. And then I think on the thumb, I'll go ahead and do um, the glaze the more. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of these colors on a little palette here so I can do my French tip. And when I do a French tip, you guys, I just kind of eyeball it. I know there's different techniques that you can use to get the, the perfect French, but I just kind of eyeball it. Um, so. What you want to do is you want to take some polish on the brush and so for me what I like to do is I like to create like semicircles when I'm doing it so I'll probably just start right about here and go towards the tip of the nail all right and I'll do the same thing on the other side I'm gonna start about here and go down towards the tip of the nail and that is literally how I do my French tips, you guys. And so from there, right, I just try to round off the middle part of where it connected. And then that's how I have my French tip. Get it as round as possible. And then from there, once I have that drawn in, then I'll go ahead and fill in the French tip with the color. I normally use the brush from the gel polish, but honestly, I think I put too much of this on my palette and I don't wanna waste it, so. I am just going to fill it in with this, with this brush here. It's beautiful. I love this. All right, that looks good to me. Go ahead and cure. Next, I'm going to go in with the thumb down and do the same thing using the other color. So again, I'm going to start at the, the side here and just create like a semicircle like so. Come around, do the same thing over here. All right, so something like this. And then I'll go ahead and fill it in. And then I'll go ahead and sharpen up that curve here. looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and cure. This is what the two French tip glitter nails are looking like. This color is really beautiful. Okay. So next I'm going to go in with the middle finger and I'm going to do that sequin nail that has the XOX on, on it. It is going to be matte. Um, so I decided to go in with um, some of these heart sequins and I'm going to use these two colors in particular. 
So in order to apply them, right? So let's see how I want to do this. So it looks like on here they had, it looks like they kind of got a little bit of a nude nail grid that ombre out into a clear tip. So I'm going to try to recreate that as well. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go in with one coat of the Milky White and try to ombre it into the tip of the nail. I don't want it to go up too far, like say here. And I guess try to ombre it towards the tip of the nail. It's almost like they used it to kind of cover the nail bed. So I'm going to do that really quick. Like so. And then I think I just want to use this brush here to kind of flare it out a little bit so that it kind of kind of sort of goes into an ombre or could I do it like this okay happy people so I'm not all that great at ombreing but I did try to go back and forth um, horizontally to create the ombre and then I started trying to flare the gel polish out towards the tip of the nail so essentially I'm gonna repeat that process with XOXO two times like I did on the index finger so this is what the nail is looking like with that nude nail bed. Next I'm going to go in with these sequins. I am just going to take a little bit of base coat and apply them exactly where I want the heart sequins to be. So let's say I want like a heart here and a heart here and a heart here. I'm really just going to take a little bit of that base coat and pick up one of the hearts and drop the heart on the nail like so. This one here, this one here, that one here. Take the other color, this one here. Oops. Put one here, okay. And I'm gonna just do that all over the nail. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and flash cure this in place. So I do have this little flash cure lamp that I got from Shein recently. I'm loving this, it has like a little timer on it and everything with the silicone head. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press that down on the nail just to get the sequence in place. Like so, yeah, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna repeat that process and just kind of feel the hearts in a little bit more. So again, I'm gonna take a little bit of base coat and just kind of put dots all over the nail of where I want the little heart sequin pieces to be. And I'm going to tap into the base coat here and just apply more of the hearts. Put one here, one down here, let's see, one over here, one over here. Oh, that's like three of them. Okay, we can have them bunched together. Just a smidge more base coat here. And then you just move them around until they're kind of where you want them to be. I think I'm doing this right. I don't know. Again, this is my practice nail for this design, so hopefully it turns out the way I'm wanting it to. I think this all looks good so then I'm gonna take my flash curry light again and just press everything into the nail let me do the same thing up top Okay, happy people. So doing this encapsulated heart on a press-on nail was a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated, but you essentially want to keep going in with the base coat and then applying the sequin hearts and flash curing in between each layer. If you do have some sequin hearts that happen to slide off and hang off the side of the nail, I just kind of flicked it off and then reapplied it to the front of the nail. You could also clip it off with a cuticle nipper. So this is what this nail is looking like. I'm going to repeat that on the next nail. 
Okay, so you just want to take the base gel and apply it in dots all over the nail where you want the sequence to be. Then you'll take your orange cuticle stick and dip it into that base coat and then take the heart sequence and spread them into that wet base gel. Um, and you'll continue to move it around until you place them exactly where you want them to be. You use the flash curing lamp to kind of seal it into place and then continue to repeat that process until you get your desired look. So I'll take it off and see if I like where the hearts are placed and if not then I'll go ahead and fill in a little bit more. So I do want to fill these in just a smidge more. I'm just alternating between the two colors as I place them on the nail. So this process was pretty time consuming if I'm being completely honest. So I want to ask you all, how do you all normally encapsulate your sequins? Um, and in particular, when you're applying it onto a press on nail, um, I feel like by doing it the way that I did it, it did make the nail a little bit bulky because I did have to make sure they were pretty encapsulated. I thought about, you know, using clear acrylic, tapping it in the sequins and doing a really, really thin layer over top of the press on. But let me know your thoughts. Do y'all have any uh, suggestions or recommendations? Alrighty, so this is what this nail is looking like. I'm thinking it's going to look better once I apply top coat. So the first thing I want to do is encapsulate it with a top coat. I want to think of a top coat that's pretty thick. Um, I believe that my... Actually, I just got this top coat in and I think it's of a thicker consistency. Let me see. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the nail with this top coat. You want to get a really nice thick top coat to encapsulate these with. And you'll just apply that top coat to the entire nail, like so. Oh, that's pretty. I might have to go in with a couple layers just to get it to lay nice and flat. But I think it's going to work out just fine. So again, you'll apply that to the entire nail. And I'm going to flip it and then I'm going to go in with another coat just to get rid of the lumps and bumps on the nail. I'm going to flip this and cure for 60. So this is what the nails are looking like so far. Next I'm going to go in with that matte top coat so I can do the EXO on the nail. And I'm going to be using the Madame Glam Velvet matte top coat. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the nail like so. Alrighty, so this is what the nail is looking like after top coat has been applied. These are so cute. Next, I'm going to go in with uh, Love's Veil from Madame Glam. I'm going to go ahead and paint that EXO on the nail and we'll be all done. So, I'm going to do the X towards the tip of the nail. So, it's really just going to be like this. And one, swipe like that, two, swipe like this. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. I think that's kind of too thick. I'm going to try that again. Okay, so again, I'm going to do an X. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and cure. Alrighty, so this is what the XOXO nail is looking like. I think it turned out really great. So last thing left to do is to go through and top coat the rest of the nails and we'll be all done. Oh, and I did go ahead and draw a little heart on the thumbnail. I was recording and my battery went dead, so sorry I didn't capture it, but I'm going to go ahead and top coat the nails and we will get into the finished look. I do have... I do have the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat, so I'm going to go ahead and top coat the rest of the nails with that, okay? And I'm going to also top coat the EXO with that as well. Flip for 10, cure for 60. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute, though? 
yes I'm loving how my cute little Valentine's Day set turned out again this is a practice set that I'm doing for an actual press on nail um, set that I'll be doing for one of my clients and so I'm excited to see that I was able to kind of sort of get the look down. I think this XOXO nail turned out beautifully, but this encapsulated um, one with the heart sequence, I definitely need to work on um, getting it not so thick. But these polishes from Madame Glam are absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the set? How are you liking it? And also with these glitter polishes, really quick, I'm going to show you guys why the glisten in it is so beautiful. You guys see here on my palette how that silver from the glitter is still on her. I tried to wipe it clean, but it's still there. That's actually fine foil flakes that they have inside of those glitters, which I think is really, really cool and really beautiful. I don't know that I've seen any polishes that had really fine foil flakes like that in there, but this set is everything to me. I'm absolutely loving it. Alrighty, so yeah, this is the Amore Tense collection. I want to give another special shout out to Madam Glam for sending these over for review. I had a lot of fun creating my Valentine's Day look. As you all can see, she turned out super cute, okay? And so yeah, I will say that I love this collection and I would highly recommend all the colors, especially these glitters. These actually have, oops, fine foil flakes in there, which I think is pretty amazing. So I do have a discount code with Madam Glam. I am going to leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below in case you guys are interested interested in getting your hands on it today is the day that this collection was released and so definitely run out and get it i see these polishes selling out very very fast but yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye